Yeah, you know, it started a couple of weeks ago as a nuisance with some haze in the air has become a very serious, serious health problem now with this smoke down at the surface. So we have that air quality alert through tonight, through tomorrow as well for the entire viewing area. That's part one of this. This is the current air quality. I want you to look at this chart. Once you get into this, uh, let's call it a pink, dark pink, it's very unhealthful. And then the red is hazardous. And we have been in that very unhealthful area. But we zoom in a little bit closer to the boroughs now. We are in what is called hazardous. And what that means is really you're not supposed to be outdoors taking any of this in. And if you are, limit your time. Have that mask handy because this, again, is a very, very dangerous and serious situation. And it's going to continue for probably the next couple of days at least. Now, the enhanced satellite here shows this is mainly smoke. This is not cloud cover. The cloud cover, that's up here, so you can delineate the difference by the bright white. We're seeing some thinner spots here and there, so occasionally it goes from almost an orange sky to darkness, and then it gets a little bit brighter where you get into these thinner spots. And there is a little ebb and flow to all of this, but here you can see there are hundreds of wildfires still burning in Canada, more smoke being wrapped around that low pressure system. So here's our future cast for the smoke. Again, overnight tonight, we are still in it. The darkest areas and the thickest areas move away briefly. I think we get a little bit marginal lull tomorrow. In other words, not as intense, but still plenty of smoke in the air. And then we're hoping things will get a little bit better as we get towards the weekend.